Hey, Daily Dosers, this is Pastor Larry, and we're taking a look at the glory of Easter this week, and as I tie it up, I want to take a look at it from a slightly different angle. You know, sometimes we look forward to the prophecies, uh, saying that we can, uh, was going to happen, or simultaneously the few days afterward, but I want to look at Easter from 40 days after it took place. Because you see, we're told in the book of Acts that Jesus hung around for 40 days. And during that time, there were many convincing proofs that he indeed was alive. This was not a rumor. But on that 40th day, uh, his apostles had gathered around him and they asked him this, Hey, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Are you going to set up your kingdom now? You've, you've, you've died as you pro, uh, prophesied. Uh, you've risen as you promised. We've been hanging around. Is, is this the time? And Jesus says to them, it's not for you to know the times or the dates. The Father is set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Well, they were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them, angels, and they said, men of Judah, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. And then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, about a Sabbath day's walk away. You see, the ascension of Jesus was actually a glorious day connected to Easter because Easter meant that every promise he had made, his death, his cry out, it is finished, it is paid in full, was actually accepted and totally done. The price was paid, and it was the Father's stamp of approval. That's what Easter is. Now, 40 days later, he's saying this, you think I've come back to set up my kingdom right now, but there is much, much more work to be done. And guess what? You can do it. Because only when I leave and only when the Holy Spirit comes upon you will you be empowered to do what I've called you to do. And now, at that point, they had no idea it would be 2,000 years and counting before he would return. And that's the time frame we're in right now, the in-between time, between when Satan was uh, finally defeated. I've often paralleled it to when the Allies landed on Normandy and, and, and basically the battle with Germany was over, but there was this cleanup operation as the march to Berlin took place. And during that time, there were real, not just skirmishes, but real battles. Uh, there were uh, real tragedies, but victory was absolutely assured. And folks, that's where you and I are living. Easter was landing at Normandy. Easter was the time where the power of the enemy was absolutely destroyed. Has he been destroyed? No, he's still there. In fact, he's even called the God of this world. Uh, he even is able to inflict pain and all kinds of things still to this day. But we also have the promise he can never test us beyond what we're able. You see, Easter has come. Normandy has been stormed. It has been taken. And we are living in the march to Berlin. And during this time, here's the cool news. We have everything we need to play our part, and we have absolute assurance that victory is ours. Oh, are we experiencing the full victory day in and day out? No. Probably already today, unless this is the first thing you're listening to, uh, you've experienced both the highs and the lows of living in this fallen world. We go out into that world, we look around at the news, we look around at the culture, we look around at our health, we look around at, at the things that are going on in our friends and the loved ones' lives, and we go, man, this just doesn't feel like victory. And the reason is, Easter has come, Normandy has been conquered, and now we're marching to Berlin. And when we get there, the kingdom will be set up. For us to know the time, the season, exactly when, that's the Father's just like they wanted to know, we want to know. But here's what we've got. That even when they asked the question, they didn't have it. It'd be a few days later when Pentecost would come and the Holy Spirit would come. Here's what we've got. We've got that Holy Spirit. And if we will walk in obedience to that which we know, God will continually turn that dimmer switch brighter and brighter, and we will know more and more and more. And we will experience all the kingdom has to offer. You know, it might be in this lifetime, it might be in the next, but here's what I promise. Here's what God promises. Here's what Jesus promises. 
In the end, we win. And the battle has already been assured.